Good evening, family. All right, we're going to start over. You guys got to get pumped up. Good evening, family. Are you guys ready to praise the Lord? We serve a wonder-working God. We serve a mountain-moving God. And we serve a life-changing God. And for that, he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. I have to turn around and look at the screen because my wife said the screen is huge. She was right. On the night of March 14th, 2017, after 27 years of active addiction, I finally hit rock bottom. Homeless and hopeless, I was arrested in Indianapolis for multiple dealing and possession of drug charges. I was thrown into a jail cell alone, afraid, and left with no way out. I was now facing the rest of my life in prison. With no one to turn to or no one to call, I finally cried out to God, please help me. From that moment on, I finally realized that I could not do it on my own. I was going to need his help. God's grace allowed me to come to him, and his grace was for me too. Through multiple appearances in front of the judge, I was finally given that chance to get the help that I desperately needed. Released from jail, I made the decision to check myself into the Salvation Army Harbor Light Center in Indianapolis. Go ahead, you can clap, you can clap. I was admitted into their detox program, and with the help from the medical staff, I was able to spend the next 10 days drug-free the longest I'd ever been clean in my entire life. I then checked into the residential treatment program there and my life changed forever. After a Bible study one evening, I was given the chance to get down on my knees and ask Jesus into my heart and ask for forgiveness. From that moment on, I began to have a peace and a patience about myself that was unexplainable. Little did I know that my journey with Jesus and the Salvation Army was just beginning. On May 5th, 2017, I was accepted into the Salvation Army Adult Rehabilitation Center in Indianapolis. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's a highly structured, structured, intensive drug and alcohol program that focuses on spiritual, social, and emotional regeneration and rehabilitation. I've got to give the plug, always. This is where I met a man named Jesus. I began to experience what a relationship with him feels like. I learned that through grace we are saved, and there is no faith without obedience, and no obedience without faith. I was becoming a new creation. 2 Corinthians 5.17 is a promise you can count on. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed, and see, the new has come. Amen? God's word was coming true for me and my life. Through this relationship and the program, I found my sense of purpose again. I was able to develop and understand what a real relationship with Jesus is all about. On completion of the program, I was offered a job with, with the Salvation Army. I started working in a warehouse at the Adult Rehabilitation Center, processing donated goods that fund the program. I was then given the opportunity to become the assistant resident manager and soon became the full-time lead resident manager. Becoming a new person in Christ changed everything for me. Following God's teachings, I started to live by the Spirit, which gave me a sense of goodness and kindness in myself and for others. These positive changes helped me to find my real purpose in life. Breaking free from old habits, I became more patient, gentle, compassionate, and started making a positive impact on those around me. This journey not only transformed who I am, but also revealed a path to living out my true purpose. 
This is where I found my true calling, serving others in Christ's name and helping others recover from addiction. By participating in mission integration, I was afforded the chance to become a soldier at the Salvation Army Fountain Square Corps in Indianapolis, where I volunteer, yeah, where I volunteer, serve the community, and worship. Embracing this commitment, I deepened my relationship with God, gaining a profound understanding of what self-control should be because of what a covenant relationship with Him truly entails. Walking by the Spirit and living by this covenant was and still is instrumental in keeping me on a clean and steadfast, a steadfast path today. The Salvation Army played a crucial role in facilitating and supporting me to acquire national peer support certifications essential for me becoming the manager of rehabilitation services at the Adult Rehabilitation Center. In this role, I was entrusted with the responsibility of leading and steering a program towards a Christ-centered approach to recovery. Since then, I have attained my KDAC 1 and 2 certifications, qualifying me as a certified alcohol and drug addictions counselor. Thank you. Thank you. As a result, I assume the position of the Director of Rehabilitation Services, taking on a leadership role in overseeing and advancing our rehabilitation program curriculum and staff. I even went back to college and earned the Salvation Army Adult Rehabilitation Center Leadership Certificate from Indiana Wesleyan University. Yeah. I got to get the Kleenexes ready because I'm not going to make it. I've never made it through this testimony without crying. So I, I, backstage I said, do you have any Kleenex? And she said, sure. <sighs> Instead of serving a life sentence in prison, the Salvation Army and its multiple ministries gave me a second chance at life. It gave me hope that a faith-filled relationship with Jesus can give you a peace and a joy that is unexplainable. And out of that peace and joy comes an undefinable love for my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, which allows me to serve others and my community in his name. Today I am the man, husband, father, son, brother, and friend God intended me to be. The miracle called recovery in my life would have not been possible without God. And I am forever grateful for him using the compassion, the kindness, the generosity, and the contributions of Salvation Army Ministries, Salvation Army officers, soldiers, staff members, volunteers, and donors. This support has been instrumental in shaping my journey and my future. I would like to sincerely thank everyone who has been and is still involved in this roller coaster called life. But most of all, thank God my life is in your hands. To quote one of my wife's favorite worship songs, and one we sang last night, it's funny how God works. He picked me up, he turned me around, he placed my feet on solid ground. I thank the master, I thank the savior, I thank God. Because he healed my heart, he changed my name, forever free. I'm not the same. I thank the master. I thank the savior. I thank God. Thank you.